First question, uh, could you give us a quick synopsis of what, audience, what audiences can expect? Sure, so my film The Lesson, which I've written and directed, it's about a, a teacher in a comprehensive school. He's tried to communicate his passion in literature for 20 years in the classroom. It's quite a satirical look at a, one aspect of education where kids and teachers are being let down, where it's kind of spiralled out of control. I'm not trying to say that all schools are like that. Um, but anyway, he flips when his mother dies. He t decides to kidnap two very, very difficult kids, six, just turned 16 and he tortures them and teaches them about poetry. So it's quite blackly comic, quite satirical, but also quite violent in places. Uh, now, as I understand, this is your director, directorial debut. Uh, how have you, ha have you found this whole experience? Well, I mean, I was just focused on making the film. I mean, we had a tiny, tiny budget. We made this for a real nano budget, scraped together from friends, family, a few people, eternally grateful to. Um, tiny, tiny cast, tiny crew. So that was a mammoth task. I was very lucky in the talent I had in the casting crew, but it was really like pushing a you know a mountain up a hill. It was it was incredibly hard, um, but such a lovely payoff to have done it and to and to see everybody you know represented so well. And it's lovely to be at Fright Fest because the fans are so passionate about the genre and know so much about it. So I'm learning a lot. <laughs> uh, that was actually going to be my next question: the fact that uh, obviously it is being shown at Fright Fest. Uh, so, what do you think that it is about this event that uh, really appeals to everyone? I think it is the people that come have a real sort of encyclopedic knowledge about the genre, um, and they're really passionate, and they're and they're often quite clever people, and you can have really interesting discussions with them. And so it's it's just it's great because the genre is now spiraled into so many different kind of forks, so many different areas that come under this umbrella of, of horror. It's not just the, you know, a slasher movie or whatever. So it, it's, and this is kind of the, the hub of it all, you know, and the intellectual hub of all that knowledge. So it's, it's great to be here, yeah. Uh, and obviously now you've got this one out, out in the world for everyone to, to see and watch. Yeah. Uh, have, you, have you got anything else in the pipeline later on down the line? I have. So I'm working on a ghost story with a kind of European sensibility, uh, with a kind of social commentary to it as well. And um, also a dysfunctional family road trip. So um, working on those two at the moment, yeah. Can you tell me a little bit how you become involved in the project? Yes, I will. Uh, I was in an episode of Heartbeat about 15 years ago with Ruth Platt, who is our director, and we became very good friends on the making of that. We played husband and wife, and when she had had her children and decided she wanted to be a film director, she got in touch with me and she said, I've got the part tailor-made for you, a psychotic school teacher who tortures two boys. And um, the rest is history, and here I am now. What do you think it is that, that appeals to so many people about the horror genre? I think we all... It's that sort of fear of dark rooms, isn't it? It's the fear of what's under the bed. I think, I think we all have it, I think, and we've had it since children. I think it's a natural, a natural sort of emotion to be frightened of things, and, 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 and I think it comes from that, probably, and some people seek it out. Living, living away from their normal reality. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Well, thank God this is away from their normal reality. <laughs> uh, and obviously, as the film is being shown at Fright Fest, uh, what do you think that means? Uh, obviously, the fact it is being like viewed by a, a huge audience. What do I think about it? Yes. I think it's fantastic. I'm really, really delighted that it's getting it's getting seen by people that otherwise might not have seen it. It's it's it's, it's fantastic. You know, it was a great audience this morning at the screening, and um, yes, I hope they tell their friends and family about it. <laughs> And lastly, Robert, uh, have you got any upcoming projects that's, that's uh, soon to come out? I'm, I'm in a play in, in London at the moment, so there are no. no the, um, I was in. The, I've done. I was in a couple of episodes of something on Sunday nights, which is now finished. And uh, yeah, my play opens next week in London. So, it's, um, but at the moment, no other film film projects coming up. Can you tell me a little bit how you become involved in the project? Um, I mean, it was, oh, it was, it's a pretty fun story because uh, I, <laughs> sorry, sorry, uh, jako říct, že to bylo všechno narychlo, že jo, a, a vůbec, a vlastně bylo to všechno na poslední chvíli a vůbec jsem to neměla dělat já a tak. Yeah, right, it was kind of last minute, uh, last minute job because uh, originally someone else was casted and it was like, you know, day to day action. <laughs> few like quick uh, Skype interview and like, in three days this 18 years old girl uh, left Czech Republic to meet totally unknown people in Britain. <laughs> 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 One day I, uh, they just called me 
in Skype, and the second day I I'm just arrived here. It was like uh, <laughs> as I understand, yeah. this is your film debut. Uh, so, how was the whole process of being involved with this uh, film? Jako že to je tvůj debut filmový a jaký byl celý proces toho natáčení pro tebe jako nová zkušenost? Oh, it was, uh, it was uh, a challenge for me because my English is really bad. You can hear it, <laughs> and uh, so it, it was a really good experience for me because uh, I uh, before I I just uh, shoot a small project and 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 this and this was. This was really good for me. Like uh, everything, the crew was amazing, and and I don't know. It was it was just it was really great experience. Uh, as this uh, film is now being shown at Fright Fest, uh, what do you think that actually means? Uh, you know, is it quite important? No. What do you mean? If it's important, it's it's shown on on the Fright Fest or yes. Jaký je význam jako film? Ano, jakoby, že to je důležité, že to tady jakoby, by ukázali tady na tom Fight Fest. Dobře, <laughs> tak já tu otázku jako úplně. Sorry. <laughs> Jak bys to? Proč se lidi koukají na horory? Proč se myslí, že je tady taková návštěvnost na hororových, to lidi mají tak rádi? Honestly, I don't know, I'm, I'm pretty... I'm pretty uh, Jakože se bojím. I don't like horror so much because all, all the time I'm really scared. Yeah, but I'm I'm just I'm just all the time I'm really scared when I watching horror. So I don't know. <laughs> Maybe someone like it. <laughs> First off, can you tell me a little bit about your roles within the film itself? Yeah, so I play Finn, who um, is a 16-year-old boy. Um, he's grown up in the care of his older brother who um, feels like he's got a responsibility for Finn, um, but he doesn't care much for him. He wants to shoo him away um, out of the house. You know, he's just turned 16, he wants to get rid of him. So Finn feels a bit unloved, you know, and he doesn't know really where his, where his place is uh, at home. Um, he's lived with his brother and his brother's girlfriend um, for a very long time, and he sort, he sort of feels trapped. Um, so yeah, Finn, Finn's... I guess he sort of discovers himself in the film of, of, of realizing what he's capable of um, after, after the, main, the main lesson. He, he realizes that he's capable of more than, than scratching people's cars. Yeah, um, uh, yeah, so, so, he's, yeah, yeah. so he's taught a very valuable lesson uh, that, 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 that affects his, his future for, forever. I guess. Uh, I guess Joel's kind of the opposite. Uh, he's kind of like the lost hope. Uh, he's the one that, you know, does all the same stuff as as Finn, but he's uh, he's far less repentant, and he's he's quite happy to go on doing what he's uh, scratching cars and going around doing whatever he wants. Uh, so I guess he's the one the uh, he's the one that doesn't really learn his lesson, uh, and uh, and quite rightly gets uh, gets punished for it in the end. So uh, more for him. Uh, now, Evan, I understand this is your film debut. Is that the same for you, Rory? That's okay. So, how did you both find the experience of being on set and, and getting involved with the production? I mean, what I like most about um, the experience, obviously, I came into it not knowing what it was going to be like. Um, just getting to know the cast, the crew, settling in with Ruth, I knew I knew her before, so it was really, you know, it was it was easy, and it felt like you could just go there and and you know just just be in it you know so you could just do what you, what you felt yeah, almost yeah exactly and Ruth would be lenient and give you sort of directions which was amazing you know she, she knows what she wants out of you so she, she lets you she lets you find it your own way but um, if, if it's not good she'll get you to do it again but um, no she, she's an amazing woman and she's wrote a great script um, uh, uh, you know, and it was. I was reading it. I couldn't stop reading it. Yeah. Night in, night out. Yeah, exactly. And that was exciting. That's when you know it's, it's, it's going to be something good. Yeah, and now it's here, and we're seeing it on the screen. It's like her visions come to life, and and it, it's weird seeing ourselves on the screen, like we were saying to each other earlier. Yeah. But um, 
but it, it, seeing it come to life, and, and I think Ruth should be very proud of the film. Yeah, definitely. And, and Bro, what about your experience? Well, it's, uh, I suppose I'm very lucky that, uh, well, we're all very lucky that, like Evan said, the script was so good. I mean, I, ca I came into it not knowing really what to expect, because you see, I thought, oh, low budget, horror, I wasn't really sure about it, but I read the script and I was like, oh, this is actually quite good. Like she, it, it was, it was actually, it's, it's intellectual, it's, it's dark, it's funny, it's, to be honest, if you're, if you're looking for a horror film, it's, it's, it is kind of everything you're looking for. I mean, I know it's the film, or if you're 16, it's the film I'm in. Or if you're 16 and just doing your exams, you need to watch this. Yeah, you do. I actually, it, it did pass. actually help me a lot. Like I was, I'm doing, a, I'm doing English A level, and I was actually, you got I, a star. I was, <laughs> I've forgotten how much of the. Uh, how much stuff was in there, and I was uh, so when I was watching it back, I was like, "Oh, it's actually quite helpful." Might write some of this down. Yeah, no, it was it was good. It was good fun. And obviously, as we are at Fright Fest, I mean, what does it mean to actually have your your literally your first film each shown at an event like this? Oh, I'm, I, think, I think we're all massively grateful, like just just for the opportunity to get it shown, because there were you know there were points where we weren't sure is it going to come out, is it not? But for it to come out and for it to be here means means a lot. It really does. We're really great. I think I rang up every member of my entire family and told them that it had got into Fright Fest. Um, cause, very, very oh yeah, because obviously it's film for it's Fright Fest. You know, you see it on the telly and all this sort of stuff, and it's a big event for horror fans. You know, and 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 it's where they all come. So it's an amazing thing to be a part of. Yeah, yeah. Um, e you know, even if we weren't in a film, but but to, to have people that are such fan, uh, fans of the genre telling us that they enjoyed the film is yeah, it's, really, it's just really, something it's, to, it's hard to, to comprehend but it's, it's it's great fun knowing that we're a part of it yeah. it's great fun what do you think it is about the horror genre that appeals to so many people I don't know I you go for it, it is it's exciting it really is it's like um, I mean I was jumping in bits that I'd already that I'd, <laughs> I, I knew what was coming and I was bits would like a bit would come up and a bit oh my god yeah like because I, I get I get I do get I get knocked about a bit in the film, and I was every time that like, I get, I get a bit more hot. I'd be like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Like it was a. Uh, I think I think people maybe some people underestimate uh, underestimate horror uh, as the genre to not be a good film uh, to not maybe be a good genre of film because they think maybe blood guts and that. Whereas there's more to to that. You know, there's yeah, there's a lot more to it. exactly. There's a story and. And you know, I think that's what a lot of the films. I, I saw a film last night, and it, that definitely puts that across. Yeah. A different style of. It's of like any other art form. It's it's got, it's, it's got its like yeah, it's got its like fine details that that you will either get as a director or you won't. And I think, I'm sorry to keep cracking no, on about no, it, but no, Ruth, no. Ruth has really like nailed it with this. One, oh, I she think. has yeah. nailed it. If you pardon the pun. She has. <laughs> nailed it. And lastly, uh, obviously now you've got this one out of the way. Have you got anything in the pipeline for each of you? I haven't no because I'm actually still at school. I'm uh, I am a, I'm a, I'm a, it's a career to look forward to after this. I hope so. Yeah. I mean, uh, we'll we'll see what we'll see what comes after this, but I really I hope so because it's it's been so much fun doing this. I mean, I'd, I'd love to do some more. It was really good. Yeah, I'd I'd love to do it again as well. I mean, I haven't got anything lined up at the minute, but um uh, I've just finished college, so yeah, I'd love to love to um to do something like this again. It's been an amazing experience. Can you tell me a little bit how you become involved in the project? Um well, uh, sort of, I was recommended to Ruth, and um, yeah, sort of, we we heard about each other, and I liked the script, and I agreed to to do the part. <laughs> so, yeah, it was very simple in that respect. There was no great big auditions. It sort of, it was organic, I guess. Yeah. Uh, what uh, what fond memories do you have about uh, working on set? Oh, well, it was wonderful working with Ruth. Um, I think the part was, uh, you know, I've never done, I never played a bipolar woman before, and the scene was quite a full-on, um, kind of larger-than-life um, moment, uh, and a woman that kind of thinks fast and speaks fast, and it was wonderful to have somebody who kind of understands actors, like who, who could get you in the right space, I guess, um, and help. Yeah, help you with it. So entering new, you know, territories and exploring rather than just coming and doing something automatically. Yeah. Um, now, what what do you think it is about the horror genre that appeals to so many people? Well, I think there is. I mean, we like to be frightened. We like to, you know, we like big dramas, don't we? Uh, and horror has in itself. It has, you know, we, the kind of the anticipation, the the, the, the the big drama behind it, doesn't it? And lastly, uh, do you have any upcoming projects that's uh, soon to come out? I have 
well, the film Our Kind of Traitor with Ewan McGregor. That's that's probably coming next, coming out next year. I play a different character. I play a sort of oligarch's wife in it. <laughs> so it's you know could be another subject for a horror film, but not <laughs> no, not that one. No, that that's not. That's a, more of a kind of an action um, film. And um, yeah, I, I do theatre. I've done my own uh, documentary recently, which at the moment we're sending it out to festivals. But that's a different genre. <laughs>